Skyrim fait partie de ces jeux pour lesquels le role-playing gang serait prêt à en venir aux mains. Nouvel épisode dans la série des Elder Scrolls, le dernier titre en date de Bethesda semble proposer tout ce dont un rôliste a besoin pour vivre sa passion dans les normes en vigueur. Mais parce qu'on aime bien se faire du mal et s'autotiser comme c'est pas permis, nous sommes allés choper quelques infos auprès de Pete Hines, le vice-président de Bethesda Softworks. A commencer par un rapide descriptif des nouvelles features présentes dans Skyrim. We've changed the combat system and, and how combat works, the ability to now to assign items to your right or left hand to choose what combination to allow you to use a sword and magic. It both changes the options that you have available in combat as well as all the different types of enemy that you're going to face in terms of what they're going to be doing. Um, the perk tree is something, it's not really new. Um, I mean, it is new, but it's it builds on an idea that we had in Oblivion where in Oblivion you had You had preset perks or benefits that you got as your skills progressed. Um, the perk tree is sort of the advancement of that idea to say, well, rather than have them be automatic things that you unlock, why don't we have those be things that you can pick to further define your character as you're leveling up so they still have a requirement aspect, but there's more of a choice where every time you level up, you get to decide what things do I want to be even better at, what cool abilities do I want to unlock. What else? The Radiant Story thing is is new. It actually harkens back to some stuff that we were trying to do um, in previous games and, and, and figuring out a way to do it better in Skyrim where it really addresses a couple things. Number one, when you come into town and you get a pretty basic quest like go save my daughter who's been kidnapped by bandits, we can customize that quest a little bit so that maybe the quest is given to you by somebody you know or you've traded with a lot. Um, that the dungeon that the little girl gets put in is a dungeon you have never been to before. We can look at the dungeons that you've been to and say, well, he's never been to this dungeon, so let's set this quest here. Um, so it's not making huge changes, but it's making it a bit more personal uh, to you so that your experience is different than your friends, is different than their friends. Um, and then it also allows us the ability to be more flexible so that if you decide to kill an NPC as part of one quest, but you needed that NPC as part of another quest that, that, that the system now says, okay, well, is there somebody else who can take over their role? Have they got a brother or a sister who would now run the shop and you would go to them? So it makes the game more flexible and dynamic and allows people to, to experiment and play um, the game however they, however they want and see how the game reacts to it. So I think those are the kinds of things that we try and do to improve um, I mean, honestly, it's a huge list, the way alchemy works, the way enchanting works. We've added cooking as, a, as an ability uh, now. We've added smithing as a perk where you can now create your own armor and weapons and improve it and find animals and skin them and turn them into leather. And you can mine stuff now. Like, like I said, this game is just so huge. Like, the, it's just the, the list of new stuff just goes on and on and on. Beaucoup de nouveautés donc, qui ajoutées à une base d'idées déjà bien conséquente, font naturellement de ce Skyrim un monstre de contenu, même comparé à Oblivion. En termes de size, it, it's a little hard to compare, just because we have slightly different systems and different ways of going about building the world. But this is far and away the biggest game that we've ever uh, attempted. Um, in terms of the amount of content, the amount of handcrafted places in the world for you to explore, and the number of quests all the factions, the main quest. Um, we have this system in the game called Radiant Story that, that dynamically generates random quests for you as you play the game, and that never ends. So there's li literally no end to the number of quests. I don't know if I could give you a number, but it is much bigger than, than Oblivion or anything else that we've, that we've done before. It's, it's crazy big. It's probably not exciting, but for us, the, the toughest part of development is just taking this massive amount of content and then polishing it and finishing it and testing it because when you create a world that's as big as uh, the one in Skyrim and you put so much content in there, the process of testing all that content and all of the billions of permutations of things that you could do in the game and making sure the game works in every combination is, is a really tall order and it's always the most difficult part. Un titre massif qui tire directement une partie de ses idées de la communauté. Une pratique quasiment nécessaire pour un studio qui développe du RPG. En effet, la série des Elder Scrolls ne s'adresse pas vraiment aux joueurs occasionnels et demande un minimum d'investissement à celui qui veut entrer dans son univers. Il est donc important de chouchouter sa niche, même si cette dernière est plutôt massive, et de tenir compte des différents feedbacks. 
first of all, we do have a huge uh, Elder Scrolls community, and they they are awesome and um, certainly very passionate about the, about the games that we make, just like we are. Uh, in terms of feedback from them, really, we we get the most help uh, from their feedback based on games of ours that they've played. So it's not as helpful when they comment on, well, you should do this in Skyrim. Like we, they haven't really played it to know whether or not that fits at all. But, but the feedback from them on Oblivion in terms of what they liked, what they didn't like, the kind of mods they created, um, even on Fallout 3, which is the last game we made, even though it's a different game, just the kinds of things that people reacted to, what they really liked, what they enjoyed doing the most, we take that kind of feedback and make sure that we are taking it into consideration whenever we make our next game in this game Skyrim. So certainly fan feedback and input from Oblivion and, and from Fallout 3 was hugely important and helpful to us. Skyrim n'est évidemment pas le seul titre à donner dans le genre médiéval fantastique. Les concurrents ont été et sont toujours aussi nombreux. Dans cette configuration, quel peut être le point qui différencie Skyrim et la série The Elder Scrolls d'une manière générale, d'un gothique, d'un Ultima ou d'un Two Worlds par exemple It's a good question. I, I don't know. It's it's hard for me to say like, well, we do this and nobody else does does this or tries that, because usually there's other games out there that are trying any number of things. They may be doing things that we're doing. I think for us, it's it's you know how good a job do we do in giving you a sense of place in the world where you really feel like I am this character. I am in this world. This you know this feels real to me. Um, You know, how does the combat feel? What do the graphics look like? It's it's all those little things. It, a lot of times, it's not it's not doing something that nobody else is doing. But can you do it better than anybody else is doing? Can you make it more fun? Can you make it more immersive? Can you make it harder to put the controller down um, at three in the morning when you really need to go to bed because you have to go to work in four hours, but you just want to finish that one more quest? Um, for us, it's it's that level of polish and, and really executing a simple idea to a very high level. Um, sometimes that's the most important thing. Prévu pour le 11 novembre sur PC et console HD, on attend maintenant d'avoir l'animal entre les mains pour savoir si le jeu a justement mérité cette attente. Cela donnera évidemment lieu à une critique dans les normes à l'occasion du prochain EXP.